Hello everyone and uh, welcome back to another One Piece uh, review and um, for chapter 10,010 or 1,010 10,010 uh, yeah I'd probably be dead <laughs> um, but uh, first off I just want to kind of get the kind of semi boring stuff out of the way um, nothing was really that boring from this chapter um, but I do want to say that the big mom stuff uh, I wasn't kind of too much of a fan, but, I mean, I think we all called it. Uh, Prometheus definitely saves Big Mom. Um, after Kaido intervenes, and, you know, it's kind of funny how Zeus was given, like, m talking mad shit about Zeus when it, he, easily Prometheus could have ended up in that box, too. Um, uh, but, again, I, I don't, I don't know, it's kind of, it's kind of boring. Um, wasn't... We kind of already knew that was going to happen. It was Big Mom getting saved, uh, so I don't really have a gripe with it. It's just not the best part of the chapter at all, especially because the rest of the chapter just overshadows it. Although it is kind of interesting, and there's clouds, and, uh, you know, Kid and Killer are like, whoa, where are those clouds coming from? And then kind of Big Mom, you know, and Zeus, or Prometheus kind of implies that he has something to do with those clouds. Um, or maybe he's taking the fire from the mansion and he's going to absorb it and become like this giant supernova of a flame, which would be cool because supernova are fighting. Um, so, and also the other thing I really didn't like about this chapter is how they ended with Luffy, the Luffy pose. I mean, I, I did like that pose, uh, but I just kind of feel like a lot of chapters have ended that way with that exact same pose. So, yeah, anyways, that, that stuff out of the way. There is not much gripes with the rest of the chapter. I would say the rest of the chapter, besides those two small little uh, kind of average moments, are by far some of the best uh, moments we've had in Wano. Um, like, first off, first and foremost, I mean, I have to give props to Oda for building up uh, the Conqueror's Hockey thing. I wasn't sure what he was going to do with it because uh, Armin Hockey already had had so much advancement that... I just wasn't sure what he exactly was going to do with it, but the coding of the weapons, I mean, we could make an entire video on this. This is the one of my favorite things that has happened in this series because it explains the Whitebeard and Roger clash so much, but it also explains, you know, a lot of other big clashes, but the fact that you can incorporate Conqueror's Hockey into a weapon, I mean, uh, wow, I was not seeing that because... I think I made a video about advanced hockey, like, a long time ago. And in that video, I specifically said, like, I, I wasn't sure how they were going to incorporate it. Maybe, like, they were incorporated with an attack. But I was thinking more of, like, your fist. But the fact that you could imply it kind of makes me think that maybe Kaido, if somebody was weaker than Kaido, I wonder if you could just, like, stand behind them and, like, actually, like, imbid imbued your hockey into them. Um, I don't know. I just, I digress. You know, I'm kind of going all over the place with this chapter, but it is insane. Um, right when Kaido's about to, like, kind of end Luffy after he got knocked out, which, I mean, uh, deservingly so. That was quite a hit he took um, from Kaido in his hybrid form. Uh, Law actually gets a pretty good hit, and I just love how he, he says, like, oh, shit, like, get it, Law. Like, you actually caught me off guard. Like, every time. And then he actually, it's too bad because Law is using this kind of ability called Curtain. And it's kind of cool um, from that very small sliver of panel we saw. Uh, it kind of looks, I don't know. I don't know what to make of it, really. Um, but I'm kind of excited. To, I'm really excited to see what Curtain does. Although, it might not do anything. Um, and then he just kind of flings Law. And Zoro... I was, I kind of was expecting him to do something, but when I saw the spoilers for this chapter and about him using Ashra, I was like, nah, these are fake spoilers, there's no way, oh, also there's like this really crazy looking Kaido pose, like, page thing, where his horn is like disproportionate, it's just kind of funny, it's, it's, it just comes out of nowhere and it's so ugly, while well, the rest of the chapter is pretty good, uh, just don't look at those two panels, um, but I love this line, if this doesn't work, you know, and I end up dead, and we kind of leave it all up to you, and then he kind of, like, embeds all of his hockey into the Odin blades, and I was like, oh, shit, 
and he actually uses Ashra, and I was like, what the fuck? I cannot believe he's using Ashra right now. I, I was really shocked that Ashra is used. Like, I, I was getting to the point where I was like, no way. No way, we're never going to see this, and then he uses it. And I don't know if Zoro's out for good for this fight, but... <sighs> I don't think he's going to participate in the Kaido part anymore. I mean, I know that sounds controversial, but I, I just don't think he is. I think what he's probably going to do is maybe fight King. I know that that might be kind of disappointing and anticlimactic after what he did here, but maybe he has like a like a two versus one with Marco and then like somebody else fights Queen. Just something like that, because right now I... I I think he's knocked out for a while, for a good while, and then maybe he puts in one last good hit, like he destroys the rest of Onigashima before it hits Wano, or something like that, and then Momo ends up like flying everyone off, but that's just my predictions for how the big climactic thing will end, um, but yeah, like let's be honest, he scars uh, Kaido, which is really cool, because I feel like Zoro there was doing that just to reopen his wound, and you can kind of tell that he kind of cuts the very top part of the X mark. Like, he kind of, it looks like he reopens that part of it. It's a very hard panel to look at. Um, but if if that's true, then that definitely means that he has reopened some part of the wound and also scarred it. But I love how he says, you have Conqueror's Hockey too, and Zoro's like, oh, I don't know. I don't know if Ashra is a Conqueror's Hockey it would be interesting if Conqueror's Hockey was different for certain people. Like, say, you know, if you wanted to intimidate someone more, you'd actually be able to, like, form illusions. I think that would be pretty cool. Although, it wouldn't really be fitting to Zoro, um, character as much, you know, because he's more of, like, you know, like, down and dirty kind of guy. But I just love how Kaido even says, like, he's like, oh shit, that's gonna leave, that, that's actually gonna leave a scar. That should be enough for you. Like, damn, dude, that's, that's hype, that's hype. And then, it's interesting, Kaido uses Thunder Bagua against Law. And Law looks, I, again, I don't know if he's done for the count. Like, I don't know who in the heck he would fight. I, I wish that Law got to use Gamma Knife. Um, I don't think we got to see him use it. Um kind of a little bit of a shame there but he did he did put up quite a fight um i, I love that line too uh where it's like oh, if you know if you joined me we could have taken over the world and luffy's like no we like the samurai i'm definitely gonna send you flying kind of weird though i don't know how he's gonna send him flying um i i kind of for some reason i pictured luffy the way he took out kaido would just like to smash him through the rest of onigashima a really cool panel uh, i love it where you know, Kaido's going in for the kill, and uh, Luffy just kind of looks like, oh, this guy. And then he does this crazy kick. It's one of my favorite panels of this chapter is when he does this kick, and he kind of blocks Kaido's thing. And we find out the, the whole thing about the Conqueror's Hockey, and holy shit. I mean, it, it it's pretty amazing that Luffy, for even a second, was able to clash with a Yonko. I don't... I can't wait till he clashes with other people. Um, I don't know if he'll clash with Blackbeard, but that would be cool to see. Um, definitely an awesome moment. And then there's, and then Luffy kind of goes in for another punch, and it, it's kind of weird how they say, I don't, see, this is where I'm saying Oda's art kind of gets a little bit confusing sometimes, because there's like this panel, there's a couple panels where Luffy's like punching Kaido, and then like Law's like, he's not even hitting him, and then I, I'm looking at it and going like, um okay like it, it doesn't really look it looks like he's hitting him physically so I, I i don't quite understand that um but i mean if law is saying it then that's fine uh but yeah it's pretty amazing that you know he's using ryu plus um conqueror's hockey so i the way by luffy's saying at the end how he's saying tell everyone i've got this I don't know if he does got this. <laughs> I mean, I believe in Luffy, but uh, I don't know. Um, maybe I feel like if he has an awakening, uh, now would be the time to use it. I, I think if he has an awakening, an awakening, he realistically has a shot at taking Kaido out here. Um, because if he combines that, if he combines an awakening with Ryu plus 
uh, the ability to use Conqueror's Hockey, and maybe, maybe he uses Observation, like, like, I don't know, maybe Luffy gets knocked out for, like, uh, five days after this or something, something crazy, right? But he's able to achieve all of these things at the same time. I feel like maybe then and there, he definitely stands a chance, um, realistically, at taking him out. So, I, by the way, the colored, the colored manga on, um, uh, the non-official website, uh, that, you know, when you go on Reddit to actually find this, uh, by Grisha, is really freaking good, you know, uh, he's on DeviantArt, and he, the way that they made the color look when Luffy's actually hitting Kaido makes it a lot more clear, but it, it looks amazing, um, really can't wait for the anime to adaptate this, but, um, I like what song they're gonna choose, um, but yeah, fantastic chapter, uh, I would say it's like a 9 out of 10. Really, really good chapter. Um, <clears throat> dynamic chapter, and I, I do hope I do hope that Luffy doesn't just get his ass kicked right after saying this. Um, it would be pretty hype, though, if like by the end of next chapter, you know, we have like some inside the dome chapters um, with other things going on. Maybe like, you know, Robin fighting, uh, Robin and, you know, fighting, Nami fighting, you know. Um, and then all of a sudden, at the very end of the chapter, we see Luffy saying, like, like, Gear 5th or Awakening. Like, that, that would be perfect scenario. Um, but anyways, that's enough of me rambling <laughs> and gushing over how awesome it was to see um, some characters finally getting to use Conqueror's Hockey in a meaningful way. Um, but anyways, um, I hope you guys are doing great, and uh, I'll see you until next time. Bye.